tail of the tape. He's 21, five foot nine. A little bit of a height advantage on Dakota Linger. Again, a former uh, amateur wrestling standout, two-time state champion in West Virginia. He is 25 years old. Uh, reach advantage, a slight reach advantage to Dakota Linger. Uh, Juarez much more polished, but Linger very tough in the ring uh, in a multiple uh, arenas and disciplines of the martial arts. Let's go to the ring. And Jimmy Welcome back from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, we have Don Divergis, we have Eddie Hernandez Sr., and uh, Dr. Lou Moret. All right, fans, here we go. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled. Super lightweights in the ring. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks, he hails from Buckhannon, West Virginia. He weighed in at 144 and one half pounds. His record stands at 12 wins, three losses, two draws, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Known as the Lone Wolf, introducing Dakota Linger. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this eight round attraction. Entering the ring wearing black trunks with neon green trim and hailing from Brownsville, Texas. He weighed in at 142 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of eight wins, no losses. Six of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the undefeated Omar El Relampago Juarez. And a referee in charge now to give instructions, Thomas Taylor. Oh, you can come here. Mouth guard, gentlemen, mouth guard. You got a mouth guard? Mouth guard? All right, corner. Belt's a little high here, so I'm gonna give them to the top of the letters. Same thing here, right to the top of the letters, gentlemen, all right? You got my instructions in the back. Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to corner, gentlemen. Dakota Linger, a uh, former two-time West Virginia Mark, Tough Man champion, Mark, said he started fighting uh, the Tough Man tournaments with his uncles, a whole bunch of his uncles, one by one. His uncles, because they're older, they started retiring Joe and Lennox, which led to the nickname The Lone Wolf. <laughs> After a while, he was the only guy still going into those tournaments. Mm -hmm. You ready? You ready? Well, he is a tough guy. Oh, yep. Omar did. Amateur wrestling standout. Again, uh, placed in the Nationals. That makes him an All-American, two-time state champion. Difficult transition as he fires out a right hand there on Juarez. Uh, going from wrestling to boxing. Juarez is much more of a classical boxer. Again, 21-0. Standout amateur. Four-time national junior amateur champion. And uh, just, you know, I think things are going to come much easier to him in the ring. But as you mentioned, Linger, lunging forward, will throw his hands. Oh, he will. Look, I watched tape on him. He fought one of uh, a kid that I used to train, Maurice Lee, who was 12-1-1. Who was and, one. and it was a it was a nip and tuck fight. And believe me, uh, Linger thought he won that fight. And a few other people did. But, you know, uh, all I know is that Maurice Lee was very athletic. And he went in there and did a job and threw a lot of different types of punches. He's a tough guy. We've seen Juarez before a number of times, and he used to come out when he was fighting four-rounders, just come out, Lennox, and just try to blow guys out. He's trying to box a little more these days. He is. He said uh, he has to learn to be a bit more patient, and I agree with him. And this this fight is being patient, uh, and uh, that's what he's really working on. But he's a puncher that throws power shots. Any one of his punches can hurt you and knock you out. That is another hard right hand. He's landed two strong right hands. Linger obviously has a good jaw able to absorb that but uh, you can't take too many of those yeah he doesn't want to sit on the ropes linger doesn't want to do that but he he he, he basically called uh, Omar to the ropes by sitting on the ropes put his hands up high and tried to counter off of some blocks that didn't really work though he's gonna have to go yeah, Warren's after just, Warren's yeah Warren's is just walking him to the ropes there and linger's just gonna get pummeled if he stays there he's got to stay out moves his head nicely there but absorbed two hard beautiful right hands from Warren's yeah you're correct um, you know, War is, is all he has to do is walk him against the ropes and start throwing, letting off with his combination and seeing how uh, Lingard really, really reacts to his punches. Firing off a couple of hooks there off the right hand, but looking for that right hand. Linger, you know, able to do a few things well. 
That's right. Trying to survive here and get comfortable. He landed a couple body shots about 20 seconds ago against Omar. Omar's got the speed on him. Omar's got the experience, and he's got the classic style. But you don't underestimate these guys that are, they, they don't look like much, but they, they got good pop, and they somehow sneak punches in on you when you at least expect it. Yeah, you can see certainly not as fluid as he misses there with the right hand. War is able to get out of the way. I mean, that amateur background is just everything. You might hear us uh, you know, reference that all the time, but you just gain so much experience. And a kid that's had 100 amateur fights is just going to be you know, very different from someone who was you know, wrestling in high school. And, and Linger was outstanding as a wrestler, but uh, you know, this Looking is not the bell, that gentlemen. Final seconds here, round number one, scheduled for eight, so Linger able to Time. get through round number one, absorb some good shots from Juarez. The main event is next. Lennox, did you ever meditate like Ugas seems to be? Yeah, um, all the time, you know, when I first go in the change room, I just relax, take it easy, you know, and 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 sometimes go to sleep. The, the referee or the, or the judges have to wake me up. They wake you up. <laughs> Joe Goosen, hey, you have your, your top 10 PBC welterweights. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrust into the role of, uh, you know, uh, uh, ratings chairman now. So, you know, look, I, I, I got to have Errol Spence, uh, you know, at the top of the game right there. Manny Paco, number two. Keith Thurman, I've got over Sean and Danny because he beat them both. So, you know, uh, you know, Thurman is a, is, a, is a great fighter. Then, you know, pulling up in, in sixth place, I got uh, Ugas. Ugas is right there on the threshold of breaking that top three or four spot, uh, it, depending on what happens tonight. Mikey Garcia just beat Jesse Vargas, two, uh, two weight champion. I got my guy, Sergey Lipinitz, right behind him. Jamal James and Abel Ramos, who's fighting tonight for a title fight. There's my top 10. Where's Lipinitz? Good list. It's a pretty good list. Number eight. All right. That's my boy. All right. <laughs> Round number two Mine here, too. Omar Juarez in the black trunks. Dakota Linger out of Buchanan, West Virginia in the white. And those were PBC welterweights, if you're wondering, hey, where's this guy, where's that guy? That's why. That's right. Yeah. And, and welterweight, look, it's, it's jam-packed. It, suffice to say, Errol Spence is considered to be the best welterweight in the world, but you can, you can make arguments, Terrence Crawford, you can make you know, Manny Pacquiao with the incredible resume. Uh, but I think you had a pretty good list there. Yeah. Bottom line, your Dennis Ugas uh, deserves to be up there with the top stars and the better known stars in that division. Yeah, they're all, it's almost interchangeable, those top, you know, you know, five guys, really, tell you the truth. Uh, they're, they're all very talented. It's rare you get that great of talent, uh, six, seven, eight guys in a row like that in one division. They're all championship yeah. material. It, 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 it harkens back to the 80s, uh, you know, golden era, welterweight, middleweight. And that's, uh, that's saying something. Normally, you, you try not to say that. Because, you know, it's true, though. Every, yeah, I, I think it's true as well. And, uh, Linger just keeps falling short. Yeah, you know, he, certainly game. Yeah, he's falling short because he's trying to throw the right hand. You see where he is? He's, on, he's up against the ropes, trying to throw a right hand at a guy that can step backwards and has so much room behind him to move out of the way. But he did what I what I said he would do. He 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 lured Omar into the corner and then countered with a hook uh, uh, off of uh, a block, and then spun out and turned uh, Juarez around. He's no dummy. I mean, the Linger is actually a pretty smart kid. Landed two good body shots, a right hand, another body shot. So he's no. You figure for a tough man, yeah. you figure he'd be going in there trying to take a punch. But he's got good defense. He's yeah, got he his does. hands up and he doesn't like to take punches. That's right. Linger did uh, land a good light right hand there. Just eats that shot, hook to the body. And now Juarez gets to fire off his hands. A little bolo work there if they're going to trade. Oh. Linger seems to be bucking a little bit on that body shot. Yeah. He's getting slowed down. Omar Juarez landed two back-to-back -back liver shots that Linger felt. And there goes another one. He's going from top to bottom. Hook to the head, then he's sliding back down to the liver. Omar is, and he's doing a great job. Man, he looks strong tonight. Underneath and fires off, doubles up on the right hand by Linger. Pretty sharp. Yeah. A good punch by that, Linger there. The that counter. was a good punch. What well, Omar has to worry about after he finishes his combinations, he has to think defense after. That's right. That's right. Let me step your hands back. You see, Linger is countering. He's, he's actually got some cute moves right off the ropes, man. I, I, I got to give it to the kid. He threw an uppercut in there too, Joe. So there's a little something in his arsenal. And I got to tell an you, uppercut there from Juarez, but able to throw a little something else out there. Last thing I'll say is Omar Juarez looks very aggressive tonight. You know that's a that's a plus when you get to fight back to back. 
good controlled aggression by Omar Juarez. Dakota Linger, though, hanging in. You can see on the left-hand part of the screen where this is where uh, Omar Juarez started to let it fly, Joe, oh. and there's that, that, that body shot, beautiful hook. Yeah, he did, but you saw Linger come back after the liver shot and throw another, a right-hand left hook. Uh, look, so he's he's trying to answer back against Juarez. Juarez just really looks good tonight. You know, he fought just a couple of weeks ago, and that's the benefit of fighting back-to-back. -back. Like I say, you get back in the ring, you feel more comfortable, and he looks really comfortable tonight. <laughs> Linger landed 17 punches in the second round. That's the first stop, time stop, stop, Juarez's stop, stop. opponent back, has landed back, double digit go. punches in a round. So, again, Linger is is making the most of it. You can tell he's like pretty late to the game. Gets his head popped right there, but he fires back on one Watch two. I hear he lands a right hand and a right hand to the body again on Juarez. I guarantee his corner told Linger, stop sitting back on the ropes. Go ahead and force this fight. That's where you're gonna probably get lucky and get your shots in and push Omar Juarez back. And he is getting closer to him now and is able to throw that hook. Right hand missed, but the hook landed. Another right Watch hand. Those heads. And now they fight in the phone booth. Yeah, this kid's tough. I mean, he, he's there to throw. He's, he doesn't care. He's, he's, he's fighting in a phone booth. This is the, the kind of fight he wants to get into because he realized he doesn't really have too much talent, but he's got the power, he's got the grit, and he got, he got the energy to do that. Wow, vicious uppercut there, and I think it just clipped Juarez, but Juarez, meantime, banging it to the body. Oh, and he just ran into a left hook by running in with his own right hand. Linger and got clipped with the left hook. He's getting uh, he's getting hit with some great body shots as well by Omar Juarez. But I tell you, uh, he is. He's tough, he's absorbing the punishment, and he's coming right back. Good body shot and another uppercut by Linger. He's landed two or three of those uppercuts in this fight so far. Yeah, those are good Got a good pretty good brawl here against Juarez. Yeah, what he's doing is coming around to the side, and then he's bringing it up the middle, which is good. Tell you all that tough man uh, experience. He's also a deputy sheriff. So again, uh, this guy coming up again with his amateur wrestling background, that's a difficult transition. Very few have been able to successfully uh, do both and be successful at both. You know, Bud Crawford was a good amateur wrestler. Kermit Cintron, but now I'm, I'm going back 15 years. Right. Joe, it is difficult to, to do. They're just different skill sets, aren't they? They are, but I think, you know, I think having a good wrestling background is advantageous in boxing because you, there's a lot of body pushing, a lot of maneuvering, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, 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 just body contact in general, and I, I think it can pay off. What I don't like is what Linger's doing. He's lunging in with the right hand. He's, and he's continually getting countered, and where he made a great start at pressing, pressing for this round, he's now slowed down and backed off a little bit. I'm trying to catch his breath, it looks like. Yeah, but Joe, wouldn't he be better off fighting boxing tournaments? You know, as a kid? I mean, look, it, yeah, it would have helped. It's like, you know, if you want to play Major League Baseball, you play Little League. If you don't, you're going to, you know, you're not going to get the fundamentals early in your life. So, you know, anything you start earlier is better, no doubt. I mean, that's what we're looking at here. Again, that, that, that's the difference. And Juarez is growing up a boxer. Linger uh, did not. And yet, we've got a fight. Back here on Fox in Los Angeles, Omar Juarez, Dakota Linger. Juarez is uh, what we call the A side. There he is, 8 no, 21 years old. He's the prospect. Dakota Linger is only 25, but he's a former tough man, amateur wrestling champion. Uh, but he has been able to hold his own in this fight. In fact, you know, power shots are actually pretty close. We'll get the copy box numbers for you. But round number four, you see the overall in favor of Juarez, who just punches much better in combination. But round four, and uh, Omar Juarez finding himself in a bit of a fight. Yeah, we're entering the halfway mark of this fight. It's an eight-round fight. But yeah, if you I'm remember in the off. fighter meetings, good counterpunch by uh, Linger. But if you remember in the fighter meetings, Linger said that he didn't have a lot of time to get into shape for this fight, and he's not exactly at the top of his uh, conditioning right now. Let's see if that plays a part. Yeah, it does play a little bit of part. But, you know, he fights in, 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 in pockets. Anytime he gets a chance, anytime Warriors is close to him, that's when he's trying to uh, fight, which he should be but he also needs sure. to move the legs a little bit closer to him. Mm -hmm. And Lennox, I think, too, Juarez has hit him with some shots that he's wondering, how come this guy's still there, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's hit him some pretty flush with some combinations, and Linger's just standing in front of him. You're right. He is. Plus, he realizes, you know, he's got four rounds to work and, and try and get him out of here. 
Heidi Angel has uh, a little bit from uh, Dakota Linger's corner. Heidi, what do we have? That's right. I spoke to Tim Wheeler in the corner, and he told me that he really, they told him they liked what he, how he started that last round. They want him to push Omar Wara's back. They want him to mix it up on the inside, and they Angel said that said he's a little bit worried him. about his gas. You know, they took this fight on a little bit of short notice. He was on vacation before this, so yep. they want him to get in there, throw the jab, and work the right hand off it. Guys? Ooh, counter right hand and an uppercut as well. Heidi, thank you so much. You know, Wheeler had said that, you know, his awkwardness is not a bad thing. Right. And when he started training Linger for boxing, he said, well, I'll just, I want to use his aggression and his awkwardness, you know, to his favor. And it seems like, you know, he's making the most of what he has. Yeah, Warriors, Warriors is, you know, relaxed right now. He's doing what he wants to. He can do anything he wants to in this fight, but he's working on his inside game and, you know, slipping punches and trying to get to uh, Linger's body. And just at the moment you say that, Lennox, and you're right, and War, you know, Juarez is firing off a three or five punch combination, but then he eats a solid hook from Linger. <laughs> right. Linger is always there. But again, Linger looks like he's taken too many breaks uh, during the round here. He should be keeping the pressure on. And look, this fight's <laughs> going to end soon enough. And you, you hate to look back and see that you wasted time where you could have been successful. He's not doing that right now. Final 30 seconds, round number four. Yeah. Again, Juarez is a kid who graduated high school at 16 and went to college. You know, this is a motivated young kid. Yeah, you can see right now, he's just waiting for Linger to uh, commit himself so he can counterpunch him. Stays and keeps him in the corner. Uh, Linger able to move his head just a little bit, make things difficult. Good uppercut spinning to the Listen side. Listen to the bell, gentlemen. Listen Linger to that bell. Doing some pretty good work, chasing Juarez now out of the corner. And there is Dakota Linger in his corner. Uh, getting some advice. Go, second south. Off piece in. Yeah, he has done a good Pop job piece. in this fight. Yeah, Number clearly, five. there is a talent Pop and piece. skill gap, Number five. experience gap. Uh, but again, toughness will take you a bit of the way and linger trying to hang in on this fight against the unbeaten Omar Juarez. Round number five, Brian Kenny, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, along with Heidi Androl and Marcos Viegas. And you see the punches landed 97 to 60 overall. Body shots landed, it's 32 to 25 in favor of Juarez, but it is very close. It's a good hook off the ropes by Linger. Let's go to Marcos Viegas. Marcos, what do you think so far? So far, it's been a pretty competitive fight. I have uh, Omar Juarez ahead, of course, 39 and 37. But, you know, the herky-jerky style of Linger is working for him at, at some points on the inside. It's just he tires out and allows Juarez to get his volume up and win back some of these rounds. It's, it's also Marcus, difficult. Thank you, Martin. It's yeah, also ahead, difficult Lennox. to take punches and then give back at the same time because it's taken a lot out of you. So Linger's taken a lot of punishment, but he's absorbing it well. You know, he seems to take a shot, Lennox, and he, you see right there, he fires back right away, but he fires back with some venom. You know, he's able to fire back hard. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's not getting hit cleanly. I mean, he's got good defense, and he takes a punch well. So he comes back well, too. Now they start to slug it out, Juarez landing his shots, but also eating a few shots as he stays closer to Linger. Yeah, Omar turned uh, southpaw for a second and an eight and right a hand uh, in the middle of the transition. So, you know, he should stay right-handed. That's where he's doing his best work. And should use the center of the ring using his jab and, and distance. He doesn't need to sit in the pocket with this guy. Let him get lucky. I think you're like that. Exactly right. And then look at those shots. Yeah, yeah. And he puts his hands down, too. That's yeah. uh, that's bad form. Look, Marcos gave Linger a round, and that, I think that's being kind of generous. But he can, you can certainly get your head spun around by anybody, and Linger will do it for you if you give him a chance. Yeah, this is a situation where Juarez just needs to just, you know, block the punches and come back with his punch. I think he's not getting hurt. He wants to do this. He doesn't have to box like this. He can keep the fight from a distance, but he's enjoying this type of fight. Joe, wouldn't you tell him to box a little more? Well, you know, it, it, it's funny. Fight. It's funny. Normally, a great liver shot. Normally, I would say, no, go in for, you know, the knockout. But with this guy, Linger, because he, he is dangerous in a sense where he's accurate enough and awkward enough that it would be much easier to box him and still get the same uh, result. You could get a knockout by boxing this guy. But sitting in the pocket, you're giving him a you're giving him a chance. See, like that, right there. You could do that all day. Half step back, counter with a hook and right uppercut, jab from a distance. You could land anything you want from the outside. And every time Linger jumps in, he gets countered with a left hook. And I tell you what, Linger looks a little more confident, doesn't he? Right about now, a little more comfortable, even though he's tired. But he he doesn't look as outmatched right now. 
right because he hasn't been hurt. I mean, you know, he's taken Warriors' best punch Listen and, for the belt, and he's still there. So it's given him a lot of confidence to, you know, to box in this fight. Good jab landed there Time by right Linger. We are going to go to the corner. We'll keep it right here. Uh, both fighters have their fathers in the corner. Rudy Juarez is in there with his son, Omar. Hey, listen. There's no reason to be on the inside <laughs> banging it out with him. There's no reason for all that. Yeah, I'm going I'm to caution him as well. Just kind of watch your heads. You guys got a great fight going on here, and I'd hate to have a headbutt. Yes, sir. This thing. Hey, there's no reason to be on the inside banging with him. You got to your skills just over, over exceeds all, anything he's ever been any level he's ever been at, okay? It's time to start getting on the jab and start letting your hands go, son. Don't fight his fight. Listen, don't look for the knockout. Get behind the stick, start putting the punches together, and it's gonna come. Don't look for it, okay? Let's go. You're doing great. Well, Lennox, You're doing great, uh, certainly but I don't want you on the inside, right? Echoing just what you said initially. <laughs> no reason to bang it out with this guy. Yeah, I mean. He, he, he's doing it because he wants to do it. He doesn't have to. He's not getting hurt, but, you know, there's a good back and forth going on. And, um, you know, what he's, what he's trying to do is we're looking for that perfect punch. He does, it's not going to be there. Look, he has to work stool. for it. And in his defense, look, he might be a motivational speaker, and he, he does all these wonderful things for charitable organizations, but he's a fighter. Yeah. So he gets in, he's like, oh, this guy wants to fight. I can fight. I'm ready to fight. Absolutely. It's just you need a trainer, Joe Goosen, to say, hey, don't do that. <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> let's box this guy. I, I, th I, think the, I think his father kind of echoed what I, I had just said a few seconds earlier, which was, look, he's, it is happening again. His dad's seeing what I'm seeing right now. The guy's getting shots in, which he doesn't need to be getting with. He, he's, too, he's got too fast of hands, Juarez. He's got good feet. He could still knock him out. Like you said, don't look for the knockout. It'll come. If you keep working from the outside, land your long shots, and be accurate, you can get the same effect instead of offering yourself up to linger on the inside. And that's what he's doing right now. You saw just before, able to jab and then step back, jab and step back. He could do that all night. You still got to be busy, though. Now, just because you're not on the inside, Omar, you even on the outside, right there, you got to counter when you step back, just like that, see? But now put a put a right uppercut behind that, uh, or a right hand behind that hook when you counter stepping back. So now he turns go. southpaw briefly and then back over, but now on the inside, and Linger's able to land some shots. Juarez able to stick that jab in on the way out, now fire off a right hand. And, and Brian, as you well, called it, landed in the last round. Now again, that was most by uh, any Juarez opponent. So yeah. Juarez is at the very least in uh, the most competitive fight that he has seen so far, and at least the most times he has gotten hit. Yeah, well, he's put himself in that zone to get hit by a, by a rugged guy on the inside. But you know, you called it when he turned southpaw just a second ago. He got countered with the right hand. He's he's making his own mistakes, and he's not really following. Uh, the corner's advice, to tell you the truth. And that's Juarez I'm talking about. Juarez able to touch Linger and then spin out. I, I wonder if he has it in his game to be up on his toes and just box. It really doesn't seem to be no, oh, what yeah. he does. Oh, no, no, Juarez? No, we, we've seen him do it before. Um, that That's how he beat Kevin Schatz. I mean, he, he, he boxed him and uh, dropped him and stopped him in the sixth round after he dropped him a couple times early. Oh, he, was in, he was in attack mode in that fight, Joe. He just, he just came out and blasted nope. Schatz early. And then, then it just went a couple of rounds No, nope. he didn't look as sharp. He, he did first, and then he laid back and he boxed for a while. Then he clipped him coming in with a right hand in the sixth round. That being said, he can box very nicely. He doesn't have to offer himself on the inside. But if he is going to box from the outside, he's got to let his hands go more, exactly what his father said. And his hands are down there, too, too Joe. That I mean, that's the most dangerous moment just a second ago. He's got his hands down. He's able to fire back with a right hand, but he can't get cocky against Linger, no question. Well, you know, sometimes he could be he, he could be tired of hitting Linger. You know, he's saying he's hitting, that's right. but it's not doing anything. Oh, that that hurt. did something. Great body shot. That hurt. That was a long left hook to the liver. That was not an inside liver shot. Omar Juarez might be winning almost every round, but he is being made to work here. Dakota Linger only 12, three and two. And then the body shot, was it? brutal. No, it's Linger, on the, it's on the nose. very, very tough kid. Yeah, you're gonna see Omar this body shot. able to land oh, a brutal right. body shot here, Joe. Oh, yeah. but if you see the difference, the difference of this liver shot, it's not around the elbow, it's inside of it, and boom, he actually turns away from it. It's a long body shot. That's an old school trick right there you don't see too often. Yeah, but you, you want to know what was so special about that body shot? 
Linger was throwing a punch at the same That's time, right. and it stopped him. That's right. Brian Lennox stopping him cold. Round seven scheduled for eight. Dakota Linger looked like he was just totally overmatched early on. Uh, but his corner had told us, hey, look, we use his strength and his heart as the nucleus as a fighter. And this kid has a lot of strength and a lot of heart. Let's go to Marcos Viegas. Marcos, uh, any other rounds for Linger? No, at this point, no. It's been all Omar Juarez. He's just out working him and landing really uh, the better punches. Um, you know, when I look at these rounds, sometimes when, when it's really close, I think, you know, who, who would I rather be in that round? And a uh, majority of these rounds, uh, except for the third round, has been all Omar Juarez. He's just landing the more powerful, more damaging punches. Marcos, thank you. No, and I think that's the point. Look, we went in thinking Juarez was going to win this fight. Um, it's been Linger's toughness and, uh, you know, a, a few clever moves and sophisticated moves by Linger to actually be in this fight and, and make a, a better account than we figured. Doesn't mean that Juarez couldn't be winning every single round, but Linger is making it a good fight and an interesting fight. He is. Now, Juarez is getting uh, very confident in, in the way he feels right now. Uh, you know, we're in the seventh round. We got one more after this. But if you saw, he just kind of walking in front of Linger with his hands halfway down, halfway up. He's just slipping a little bit like that and countering like that. And he just feels very confident. And uh, see, like that just pulls back a little bit, doesn't use his feet, just his upper body. So he, he feels like he's got Linger. Yeah, he's very confident in this fight right now. He's doing what he wants to do. He's practice, practicing different things. And uh, he's looking for that perfect opening. He's waiting for Linger to throw a shot so he can throw a shot and counter punch. Juarez trying to get creative there and able to dip down with the hook. But Linger has been uh, very consistent in this fight as well. Pretty sound defensively. Again, considering the arsenal that he's facing in Juarez. Uppercut by Juarez. Right hand and then had to eat a right hand from Juarez. Yeah, that was a nice shoulder roll by Juarez. He just he slipped the right hand, came back with his own short one. He's just feeling real confident right now, like he's in total control, which he is. And I think this is just going to be another, just another fight that he's going to learn from. And this, that's what it's all about. You know, this is only his ninth fight. And I'm talking about Juarez. And boy, I'll tell you, by the time he has the double amount of fights, you know, 18, 19 fights, he's going to be something really to, to look for. He's going to be a champ. You can no, tell. No question. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree, I, with, I agree with you. Look, it's yeah. the second fight in the bubble here, and he's gradually moving up, gaining experience. He was very active before the pandemic. He fought five belt, times John. last year, so he wants to be in there. And yeah. this is the type of fight where you're going to learn something. Time, right there. That is body Tim Wheeler, who is in little the little ring. And Dakota's yeah, father, Dwayne, is outside the ropes yeah, there, offering his advice. Uh, but Dakota Linger, again, is uh, making good account of himself. Lift him right up. A little Ray Arcel move. Lift him right up. Yeah. Yeah. Hoist him up in the air. Get, a, get some air into those lungs because he's he's pretty gassed. But Last song, guys, keep Joe Goose and Lennox Lewis, his toughness is not in question. No, not at all. And, and the thing is, is that he only had a 17-day notice for this fight. And I think Tim Wheeler said it best in the corner. Look, you got to start throwing the right hand, which he means you need a knockout. He said, it's your last round. And he did. He's throwing it twice, and he landed it once. But it's going to take a knockout for him to win and that doesn't seem too likely yeah he's a good student though i mean lennox you can see that he came out he's throwing yeah. three hard right hands well, listen, he, man lis out. he listens but you know one thing about when he's throwing that right hand he can't throw it with any indication he's indicating it before he throws it and war is, is you know an experienced fighter he knows it's coming he can see it coming and he knows all he has to do is step back and come back with his punches yeah, he's got it locked and loaded like you, you rarely see <laughs> right. at the professional level. I mean, he's got it up there like, here it is. He's basically oh. saying, yo, come come here. I want to hit you with this right, right. hand. You better stand still. I want to hit you with this right hand. <laughs> and yet, look, he has is, he is stayed in this fight in, in a bout that we thought. Look, and, and I'll be honest, you know, you see, oh, here's a, a kid who was a wrestler, right, a tough man out of West Virginia. Time. He's 12 and 3. You're thinking, oh, okay. Hey, we're over here. Sir, okay. sir. Time happens. out. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Tom Taylor. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Joe, let, you can speak to that. You hear the, the guy coming right? out of a, an area that's Time not in. known for its boxing, especially given his background. I'm thinking, all right, it's going to be quick work. And Dakota Linger has not been quick or easy work here tonight. No, I, I watched the tape of this kid. And like I said, he, he fought Maurice Lee, who was 12-1-1 at the time. 
and you could have made a case for him, but he had a lot more time to train for that fight. And so I, I expected him to put up a good fight against Juarez, and he has tonight. He hasn't, no question. He's not going to win the fight, but he certainly gave Juarez uh, some additional uh, learning experience tonight. Good body shots there by Juarez. Yeah, the, the lone wolf has proven quite a bit. You know, his father was in the tough man competitions with him. They both fought together before they bowed out and left the lone wolf out there. But they've done a good job with Linger here as a professional fighter. And on short notice, he has made a good account of himself against Omar Juarez. Yeah, uh, Linger looks pretty well spent at this point. He's, he's taking some good shots. And I'll tell you that one great liver shot, that can take anything you've got left, all of it out of you. So when they look back at this tape, they're going to see a lot of hard shots from Juarez. I, I, I said Juarez must have hit him a bunch of times. Thought, this guy's still standing there? Shouldn't he be down? Ooh, there's a good hard right hand by Juarez. Ooh, again. Again, it's teeing up, and that rocked his world. But Linger is still there. He's got a granite chin. Yeah, the cold is a tough kid. Cold, tough. And see, now Juarez is going for the knockout. Has he in the corner and was teeing off. He is going for the knockout. Yeah, he is going for the knockout, but you're right. I think he'd like to get one more on his record because, you know, right now he's got four knockouts in eight fights. And here is where Linger's experience as a wrestler, as a tough man, where he does not quit. And there was every reason for him just to get drilled in that corner. He takes two hard shots again. Tom Taylor takes a closer look, knowing it's in the final seconds. Thank you, gentlemen. But Dakota fight, Linger goes the distance. Juarez wanted that knockout, Joe. He did. He did. He and, and Tom that. Taylor was there. Great referee, Tom Taylor, to watch. And he let it go on, and it went to the distance Thank final you, bell. And we're going to go to the decision and see what happens. We'll still send it to the judges. Let's hear what they have to say with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Eddie Hernandez Sr. scores about 80 to 72. Don Divergis and Dr. Lou Moret are in agreement. They both score about 79 to 73. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, Omar El Relampago Juarez. Omar Juarez wins going away, and Dakota Linger only takes one round from the three judges. Uh, but but he earned the right to hear a decision, and that took some doing. Let's go back through well, this fight, Lance, uh, Joe. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll start off. There was a, a right hand left hook to the body. This went on all night. And look, right off that right hand, he dug that liver shot right into Linger's body. And Linger fell. You could see the elbows drop. Oh, this is where Linger really came back, mm -hmm. punching, throwing some great uppercuts, great body punches. And, you know, he would answer the shots. Yeah. Warriors would hit him, but he would hit Warriors back. He was saying, I'm not taking it, I'm getting you back. That's exactly right. He was doing that all night, to tell you the truth. He kind of about the fourth, fifth round, you could see that Linger was slowing down. Omar took over the fight. His confidence was sky high. And he just started kind of doing what he wanted to do. Let me tell you, Linger's a tough cookie. He took a lot of shots, a lot of punches he took to tonight, and he's still there. Good. Yeah, that. Good, good right hand, good left hand by Juarez to the body against the ropes there. He's doing some work. Can do anything he wants. And you see the copy box numbers, nearly 200 punches landed there for Omar Juarez and power punches 150 to 103. Dakota Linger got his shots in and ate every shot. Outstanding job, but Marco Juarez goes to 9 and 0. Oh.